You can see them through the windows of the historic Overland Building in Old Town. Inside, there are thousands more. Traditional origami boxes made by people from all over the United States. This exhibit that's here in this building is 40,000, which is the number of people killed or injured in the U.S. so far this year. For artist Leslie Lee, this is about showing the magnitude of the human toll guns take. This is a project that I started in 2017 after the Las Vegas shooting. Lee started with a website calling on people to make the boxes for those killed or injured, named and unnamed. It worked. You know, they wanted to do something, and so they responded, and I started getting in these soul boxes. The project gathered 200,000 boxes, representing three years of injuries and deaths. This display covers the damage done by guns so far in 2022. Each box honoring a life. Many with names, like Jalen Zavala, age four. Others with a message, like care, or lock up the guns. The name of this exhibit is This Loss We Carry, and that's because we, as a nation, carry this loss. This little group right here represents the number of people who've been killed or injured in Oregon so far this year. He made me a song called You and Me before he passed away. So that's like our little saying. This young woman is carrying the loss of her husband, Keon. He was 19 when gun violence in Portland took him last December. Everything is like, to, to everyone else, it's like seven months. But to me, it's like yesterday. So don't really know how to make sense of it all yet. Yeah. Making soul boxes is a way to process the pain. It says, I love you, Keon, from Eli. Um, I chose those words because I love him so much, and I feel like it should just be a loving memory for me and him and everybody who knows my cousin Keon. The Soul Box Project, offering time for people to create and build meaning one box at a time. And I'm super glad that it made you feel better to do it. That's what we were hoping would happen. Beyond that, the boxes, too many to all come out of the bags, are a way for us to really get it. Tim Gordon, KGW News.